Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Jake Frawley keeps coming through added winning probability isn't he? A good measure of true talent it is influenced by too many factors beyond a player's control. But ultimately the best players tend to have the highest WPAs. Last season, I'll let MVP Aaron judge all position players in the WPA, while NL MVP Paul Goldschmidt took first place in the senior circuit.The year before, it was L MVP Shahei Atani who took first overall, and NL MVP Bryce Harper, who led the National League.Already as the 2023 season begins, the WPA rankings are a who s who of superstars and MVP contenders, with Jordan Alvarez leading all position players with a 2.42 WPA, while Ronald Acuna Jr. leads the NL with a 2.18 tight behind them in the AL, is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. with a WPA of 2.12 after those three, only one other hitter has a WPA above 2.00 this year, and his name is rarely listed among players like Alvarez, Acuna and Guerrero. In his first full season, 27-year-old Jake Frawley has a 2.10 WPA for the Cincinnati Reds. What makes Frawley's accomplishments all the more impressive is that he has not a one-hit win probability wonder. His best WPA game was only the 23rd most valuable of the season. 37 other players had a game where they were within a tenth of a win of Frawley's strongest performance. In other words, his best game wasn't he a ridiculous runaway. Instead, he has prevailed several times. Frawley has six games over 0.2 WPA, four games over 0.3, and three games over 0.4. He is one of the few players to have at least a 0.1 WPA in 10 plus games this season, and everyone else in that group is a bigger name than the Reds outfielder. I am not here to claim that Frawley the myth has clutch gene. WPA is not a predictive statistic, and even if it were, we re-talking about a man who posted a negative clutch score for the first four years of his career, his grappling skills are highly suspect, and his timely slamming is almost certainly unsustainable. Still, Frawley was one of the sport's most valuable players for the first.